Given the assumptions of classical linear regression model, the OLS estimators in the class of linear estimators and the unbiased estimators, they have minimum variance. So you look at those estimators which are linear, which are unbiased, then these OLS estimators will have the minimum variance and this is what you want to prove here. That is beta 2 hat, if you've already proved two things, we've already proved that beta 2 hat is a linear estimator in Y, beta 2 hat is an unbiased estimator of beta 2, and you've also derived that variance of beta 2 hat is equal to sigma square upon summation of xi square. What you want to prove is that this beta 2 hat, which is the OLS estimator, its variance is minimum than any other estimator okay in the class of linear and unbiased estimator now beta 2 will 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 assume some other estimator beta 2 star now this estimator will also be linear this will also be unbiased okay but we will prove that the OLS estimators variance will be at least equal to uh, the OLS uh, sorry the variance of this estimator beta 2 star okay it will not be greater than the variance of the other estimator beta 2 star which is not necessarily an OLS estimator so how do we go about it is we know this that beta 2 hat is equal to summation of xi yi upon summation xi square okay or we have already proved earlier that beta 2 hat is equal to summation of ki yi okay where ki's are equal to xi upon summation xi square i strongly urge you guys who have not seen the other recordings please at least see the unbiasedness of beta 2 hat recording and the variance of beta 2 hat recording before you look at this particular recording so beta 2 hat equals to summation ki yi so beta 2 hat is the weighted average you can say this that this is the weighted average of y's where ki's are serving as weights hmm? now assume that beta 2 star beta 2 star is another estimator is another estimator of beta 2 with wi as weights with wi's as weights so beta 2 star is equal to summation of wi yi then how do you write this <clears throat> e of beta 2 star is equal to wi's will come outside e of yi this will be summation of wi e of in place of yi will you what will you write beta 1 plus beta 2 xi this could be written as e of beta 1 is beta 1 so beta 1 summation wi beta 2 summation wi xi so this is your e of beta 2 star is equal to this now what do you want in order to prove unbiasedness of beta 2 star, you want to prove that E of beta 2 star 
should be equal to beta 2. Now, according to this equation, when will this be equal to beta 2? Okay, what restrictions you should be placing on this particular expression so that e of beta 2 star will come out to be equal to beta 2? Well, this would be, this will come out to be equal to beta 2 in case of summation of wi is equal to 0 and summation of wi xi is equal to 1. So you will assume this, that summation of wi's are equal to 0, summation of wi xi is equal to 1. Why are we doing this? Because we want to prove that the variance of, v, see we want to compare among the estimators who are linear, okay, and who are unbiased. So beta 2 star should also be unbiased. And this would be unbiased if these two restrictions are placed. So you'll have two properties on wi's. One is summation of wi is equal to 0. Another is summation of wi xi is equal to 1. Now, in order to prove the variance of, uh, of beta 2 star, what will you do? Now, variance of beta 2 star is equal to variance of summation of wi by i. Well, you remember that summation of variance of a x is a square variance of x. So this will be w i is also non-stochastic. So it will become summation of w i square variance of y i. Okay, but you have to remember this that variance of y i is actually equal to variance of u i which is equal to sigma square. So you can write this as sigma square summation wi square. So variance of beta 2 star variance of beta 2 star is equal to sigma square summation of wi square. Now, just see the manipulation which I am doing. Sig I have to get summation of wi square. Now, I can write this as wi minus xi upon summation of xi square plus xi upon summation of xi square whole square. Well, adding, subtracting this doesn't make any difference to this. And you should remember that why we have taken this expression. This is nothing but ki. Okay, now assuming that this is the first term and this is the second term. Okay, so you can, you can manipulate, you can write this as, you can write this as wi minus xi upon summation of xi square whole square plus xi upon summation of xi square whole square plus 2 wi minus xi upon summation of xi square up into xi upon summation of xi square Okay, this is nothing but a plus uh, a, a plus b whole square formula. Well, taking it further, you'll have sigma square into summation of w i minus x i upon summation of x i square whole square plus sigma square into summation of x i square upon summation of xi square whole square plus 2 sigma square into summation of wi minus xi upon summation of xi square into xi into summation of xi upon summation of xi square. Well, just look at this particular third term, okay, this term. Just look at this term. Well, in case if you expand it, I'm just looking at this term, okay. If you expand it, what will you get is 
summation wi xi upon summation of xi square minus xi whole square upon summation of xi square square this you will be getting okay well if you look at it what is summation of wixi 1 upon summation of xi square this would be what 1 upon summation of xi square remember this that we have already assumed that wixi is equal to 1 so this should be equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 and what will you get is that so the last term is 0 and you have these two terms that is sigma square summation of wi minus xi upon summation of xi whole square plus sigma square summation of xi square upon summation of xi whole square well you can also simplify this term by getting rid of one summation of xi square I'll write it again for you guys here the simplification which is sigma square into summation of wi minus xi upon summation of xi whole square plus sigma square upon summation of xi square okay now remember this that this particular term this term this is a constant term This will be a constant term. Um, xi is a non-stochastic. Sigma square is constant. Hence, it will not affect. Constant terms will not affect variance. It will not affect variance. Now, if then the entire onus of minimizing the variance would lie on this term. So, in case, now this could be minimized if wi this term this term could be minimized if wi is equal to xi upon summation of xi square this is the only way this term could be minimized okay because in case if it is minus its square will become square positive and so on so variance will increase so the only way it could be it could be minimized is in case if these are equal but this actually is equal to ki okay so and in case if it is it becomes zero in case if wi is equal to ki's so this term would also become equal to zero so what is left is basically only this term that is sigma square upon summation of xi square okay so but that is same as so this is variance of beta 2 star so this would be equal but that is same as variance of beta 2 hat okay so that is same as variance of beta 2 hat.